Hey traders, just a quick mid-week uh, video. I wanted to go over crude, or excuse me, uh, the gold trade, uh, talking about um, uh, what happened uh, yesterday after the the FOMC uh, meeting notes or in the minutes, excuse me, and then uh, based on what we talked about this last week in our weekly update. So with crude, or excuse me, I keep on saying crude, it's actually gold with, uh, and crude was also very active as well, but I'm going to cover gold here. We had this nice pattern over a, you know, a, a few months here, the very bullish pattern had nice, just, just incredible move. And of course, like all markets, they move and then they, they go sideways and they move again. Um, it balanced very nicely. Again, these are weekly profiles with two-hour uh, candles on them. If we were to go to a monthly profile, we'd see that we'd have a very nice volume node here. Um, and then what happened is that we tried to break out of this area. And again, just look at this flag as one big volume area. We tried to break out of the volume area and got rejected pretty heavily in here. Well, that's a pretty bearish sign. And when we come back into that volume node, that's telling me my risk is defined. And we talked about risk being defined. Uh, let me grab my drawing tool here. We talked about risk being draw, uh, defined just above this high of thir uh, 1306. Um, what was interesting to us was this thing tried to gap up um, this week at the at the very beginning of the week outside of the volume area again, but it got absolutely destroyed again, which is another bearish sign. So if you were not in this trade short, this was an opportunity to find risk right above this most recent high or the weekly high on it and you can see here it did roll back into the range and now it's most likely going to go down and test the lower part of the range down here we also have a high volume node right here in this 240 area um, 241 I believe it is or 242 on a weekly basis so there's a, a great opportunity that's going to touch that and then continue lower now a lot of people are getting on this this gold trade um, and you know when it gets crowded that means that it's almost over George Soros talked about this week he's involved in gold and he believes gold's a long-term trade um, he may be right and his time frame may be a little different than our time frame so you have to define that and use your profile um, we are swing traders and um, you know position traders we're not intraday traders we will look to hold positions for you know three to five maybe even a little bit longer than that to capture moves just like what we just did here this was a multiple of our risk which was a phenomenal risk reward opportunity um, it, you know you can use the profile we'll go down to the daily profile as well you can use the profile on an intraday basis and I need to change my candles here sorry about that um, you can go down on the uh, the profile on a daily basis and help define your entries as well if we take a look at this um, we saw that it gapped, it gapped up uh, came back down on a daily basis and then we went back into that range almost retraced 50% um, and then the the, fine, the risk could be defined above this 1290 area. It got rejected, and of course we gapped down into the uh, 240 area, 245 area. So our risk, you know, if we were entering about 50% retracement in here at uh, 1280, our risk was up at 1290. We have $10 of risk in here, and then it rolls over, and we're down in the 245. So our risk reward was very, very well defined. Um, but guys, just understand your time frames as well. George Soros or and whoever else uh, you see on TV talking, um, their time frames could be a lot different. Um, so you just have to understand where that is. These guys can hold on for a lot longer than, than we can um, because they have unlimited amounts of capital. So if this thing goes sideways to down for the next couple months and then rolls back up and takes out those highs at thir uh, 13.06, it may work for them. Um, just understand what your time frame is. This pattern worked out very well. Um, and it is continuing to work. If you are late to the trade, this is not an area to get involved down here. You have to wait for better defined risk on that. Otherwise, guys, that's all I got. Hope your trading is going well this week. Take care. We'll talk on uh, Sunday. See you.